Here we have a simultaneous equation in question with a quadratic function in it. This is a further maths GCSE question, which is a level 2 qualification. Um, if you've done higher level maths, you should be fairly familiar with this sort of a question, um, where we have two equations, two unknowns, but one of them has a quadratic, one has a square term in it. So what we have to use here is something called substitution. So we need to um, replace either the x with the with with thing with y in it or the y with something to do with x. Now in this case I'm actually going to replace the x with the y because that means I won't have to multiply out uh, a, a square bracket. If I replace the y with something to do with x, like x minus 4, I'll have to multiply out x minus 4 all squared. But if I say that x equals y minus 4, which is wrong because it's 4 minus y, let's get it right. If I take the y over to that side we get 4 minus y. Then I can say, and I can substitute that in, sub into y squared minus 4x plus 5 gives me, when I replace this x with 4 minus y, so 4 lots of 4 minus y plus 5. Now I've created an equation with just y's in it. So we need to multiply out a single bracket, 16 minus 4y plus 5. So when I take the um, take this stuff over to this side, so I've got y squared plus the 4y, because I need to take it over this side. And then we've got 16 plus 5 is 21, take it over to this side is minus 21, and that equals 0. So now I've got to factorise this if I can. Um, it doesn't say to give decimal place or anything, so it should be factorizable. Let's just see. So 21 could either be 1 times 21 or 3 times 7, and one of them has to be negative because the answer here is positive. The bigger of the two has to be positive, so the smaller one has to be negative. And clearly, minus 3 plus 7, which is how we get the middle term, gives us 4. So we've got y minus 3 and y. Um, plus 7. So that tells me therefore y equals, well this is going to be equal to 0 so y is going to be equal to 3 or this is going to be equal to 0 so y is minus 7 and then when y equals 3 um, x plus 3 equals 4 so x equals 1 and when y equals minus 7 we'd have x plus minus 7 equals 4, so x would have to be equal to 4 plus 7, which is 11. So we've got um, we've got uh, x equals um, 1 and y equals 3, or x equals 11 and y equals minus 7. Okay, now we could, we could have done it by substituting in for the x, um, Sorry, substituting the y in. So y equals 4 minus x, put that in there, multiply that out. It would have still given you the same answers, except for you would have got the x values first and then substitute to get the y values. When I was substituting in here, I was actually using this top equation here to get those values by putting y into it to get the x. And that is a six mark question. It's quite easy to make a mistake in that question. So um, you've got to keep checking as you go along to make sure you haven't done anything silly.